Can we have a non-Muslim question? Okay. Non-Muslim sister would like to ask a question. Yes, I'm a non-Muslim. Yes, sister, most welcome. Okay. My name is Anastasia. I'm a Christian. Uh, I believe there is one God. To be exact, I believe in Abraham's God. Uh, as I know, Abraham's God is the same as in Catholic, Islam, and also Jews. For me, the, the difference between these religions is about the prophet, the main prophet. So why do I have to choose one amongst these four? Mashallah, sister asked a very good question. She said that she believes in one God, the God of Prophet Abraham. And which prophet should she choose? Because God of Abraham was the God of everyone. God of Moses is the God of Jews. The God of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the God of Christians. And the God of Muhammad is the God of Muslims. Correct, sister? This is what you believe? Yeah. Now, sister, I'll give you a solution which will satisfy all. If you believe in Moses, peace be upon him, and if you believe in the God of Jews only, then you don't have to believe in Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So you will not be fulfilling everyone. If you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in God of his, and if you're a Christian, then you have to believe only till Jesus, peace be upon him. You don't have to believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But if you believe in Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and if you become a Muslim, you'll have to 100% believe in all the prophets, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon them all. So if you choose to become a Muslim, you'll have to respect all the prophets. But if you choose to be a Christian, you will not respect Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sister, would you like to respect all the prophets or not? Yes. So the only way you can respect all the prophets is by accepting Islam. Islam means submitting a will to Almighty God. And the Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 67, Abraham was not a Jew or a Christian, he was a Muslim. Muslim means submitting your will to God. It's mentioned in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 52, that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. So if you accept Islam, the only way you can respect all the prophets is by becoming a Muslim, because you have to believe that Abraham was a prophet, Moses was a prophet, Jesus was a prophet, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, all, peace be upon them, all were prophets. Hope that answers the question, sister. But, uh... Actually, I hope, uh, I believe in God, but why to be a Muslim? Uh, the Shahada includes Muhammad in it. Very good question, because if you only believe in God, there are various explanations of God. Yeah. Explanation given by Jew is different. Explanation by Christian is different. Explanation by Hindu is different. The explanation given by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final revelation, and he has been prophesied in all the scriptures. He's been prophesied in the Christian of the, the scriptures of the Jews. He's been prophesied in the Christian of the scriptures of the Christian. He's been prophesied in the scriptures of the Hindus. And all these scriptures say that the last and final messenger to come is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So by believing in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you're believing in all the other religions also that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's like a Venn diagram. The way Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, explains Allah is clear cut. Okay. Like though the Bible is very clear, God is one, but the Christians now believe in Trinity. Correct? There is no Trinity mentioned in the Bible. No. Yet the Christians believe, they're confused. Same with the Jews, same with the Hindus. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger. And he very clearly mentioned the definition of Allah, which I mentioned in my speech. Say Allah and only. Allah 
Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yulad wa lam yulad. He begets not nor is he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufana. There's nothing like him. So this is very clear, sister. That's the reason Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. And we have to believe in all the earlier messengers also. So can I conclude that if I become a Muslim, I can... Uh, no. I am also a Christian. Not you are a Christian, you believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Because yes. Jesus Christ never teach Christianity, sister. The word Christianity doesn't exist anywhere in the Bible. This word Christian only occurs once in the Bible, in the book of Acts, where the people of Antioch nickname the followers of Christ as Christian. Jesus Christ himself did not call himself a Christian. Do you know that? Yeah, I know. So why should you call? So if you become a Muslim, you believe in all the messengers, yes. And you believe in one true God and you submit your will to God if you become a Muslim. Okay. And you have to respect all the messengers. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Okay. So would you like to become a Muslim? Not yet. <laughs> Would you like to become a Muslim? I'm not ready yet to declare anything. Okay, so I request you, sister, you better read more. Okay. And you can hear my video cassette. But once you're convinced, don't delay. If you're convinced, don't delay. We don't know how long will we live. Okay. But get convinced and then accept. Don't accept without convincing. Okay. Without getting convinced. Once you're convinced that God is one, and if you are convinced Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, accept Islam. Later on, knowledge will come, practice will come, that's secondary. But if you are convinced on these two things, that God is one, and Jesus is a prophet of God and not God, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, my request to you would be accept fast, don't delay. But if you are not convinced, don't accept. Okay, I'm not convinced yet. So when you are convinced, read, I would like you to read the translation of the Quran. That will help you, inshallah. Okay. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Can we have the next question from the non-Muslim brother here?